Hi everyone, today we're going to be showing you our EDCs in an EDC video, something you guys have requested for a long time and something I've been meaning to do. In this video we're going to take a look at my weekend EDC or my EDC when I'm not at work. If you're interested in seeing my work EDC which is completely different, let me know and I'll make a follow up video. We're also going to take a look at my girlfriend's EDC since it's changed significantly. Alright, so to start off with, just take a look at some of the things I have with me on a daily basis but aren't necessarily on my person, and that is my phone. Uh, Motorola Droid X, great phone, absolutely love it. Only phone I've had for a year that I haven't broken and had to replace. Car keys, uh, so you got my car key. I got my house key. Have the Mr. Jimbo Fox lanyard, love that. Have the Streamlight Nano Stream, little mini flashlight, and the Spyderco Bug. All right, so that makes up my car keys. Knife for today, front right pocket is the Benchmade Rift, absolutely love it. So the first Benchmade I've purchased in about three months, at least for myself. Uh, I've been on a Spyderco and Kershaw kick, so I've re I really enjoyed carrying this guy. Love the blade shape, love the hand materials, love the access lock. Very fast, very smooth. Great knife. Front left pocket is a wallet from Christian here on YouTube, or Big Bubba 5037 This is his second version of his card wallet. Absolutely love it. I'm a big advocate of thin wallets, something that you carry very minimal things in. Uh, has, has a slot for your cash, uh, has a slot for your cards, your ID, in my case, uh, ID and carry permit, but it just, you don't have much in here and I really like that. So I usually carry this in my back right pocket, but today it's in my front left. So there's the wallet. In the same pocket, I'm carrying a backup knife, and that is the Case Texas Toothpick. This is a jig bone version, the blue jig bone, excuse me. I, I carry this and a couple other cases, depending on the day. Uh, as a backup knife to my larger main EDC. And that's just simply because if I'm out in public and don't want to use this, I have you know a case to open up. No one's going to wince over a, a case knife. Alright, left cargo pocket uh, is a flashlight, actually given to me by Hillary for my birthday. This is the 4 7 Quark AA Square Tactical. Love it. Uh, has a full click or a momentary on, half kind of half click. Um, great light, absolutely love it. Alright, sunglasses. These are my flak jackets, Oakley flak jackets. These are actually given to me by iSpy here on YouTube. I liked it so much I actually purchased a second pair specifically for cycling. But they're great all around glasses. You can't go wrong with a pair of these. Also, my watch is a Luminox uh, 3000 series. You guys have seen this before. It's holding up outstanding. Still using the same battery it came with over a year ago. Um, just a great watch. Alright, right cargo pocket is something new. This is the Maxpedition Micro Organizer. I've always wanted to pick up one of these from Maxpedition, except for they didn't have the Micro yet. They had the Mini, they had the regular EDC, now they have the Fatty. But those other ones have always been too big in my opinion. And even this Micro, I kind of wish it was a little smaller, because I, as you can see, tend to pack a lot in there. And I'm not going to go over this, I'll do this in a separate video, but just to give you an idea, uh, we have a backup flashlight, we have a Swiss Army knife, pen, hand sanitizer, chapstick, a little snack, have my multi-tool in there. So it really allows you to carry a lot of stuff on your person. When I work this stays in my EDC bag attached to my lunch. So but I have that. And finally the firearms for today. Uh, since today is a travel day for me, I'm, I'm visiting my girlfriend. Several hours of travel in the car. Uh, I carry my car. P380 in my back pocket. All right. Now this guy uh, has given me some issues in, in the past, like you've seen. However, we've kind of resolved those. It shoots very well with defensive ammo. Um, range ammo, not so much. So in here, I have loaded some Hornady FTX 90 grain hollow points. All right. So in carrying that in a Kydex holster, I actually made for it. Just a simple pocket kydex holster. All right, protects the trigger guard all right, and helps to break up the, the line of the gun so when it's in your back pocket you can't really tell. All right, but that's that's my EDC for the day. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and here's Hillary's EDC. Hi guys, just wanted to show you my EDC. Um, it's changed a lot since the last time I've shown you guys so let's get started. Uh, in my left pocket here, I've got the Spyderco Squeak. Um, I haven't got much use on it because it is a new gift um, from Keelan, but I already know I already like it and it's one of the top 
Um, in my right pocket, I have a four sevens pre-on one in a blue color. Um, it is got a clicky top. That's one of my favorite features about lights, and because you don't have to worry about setting all the different modes, you know, twisting it. So clicky tops, good for me. Um, my sunglasses that I wear on a daily basis are Oakley Jupiters in the blue or green turquoise color. Um, they're a gift from Keelan too, and they're just fun glasses to wear. All right, the biggest portion that has changed in my EDC lately is a new bag. It is a Timbuktu Mini Ray in this gray color with some red stitching. It is all Catabunga's fault. Um, from Cat, the cat from Catabunga. Um, I've seen a couple of videos of her new bags, and I just fell in love with this bag. Um, it is considerably smaller of my other bag that I have, as you can tell. Which kind of concerned me when I first got it. I pulled it out of the bag. And I'm like, this is too small. It's not going to be able to carry everything I have. But I don't have that much to carry, so it turned out that it worked perfectly. All right, so let's get started into this little bag. On this, there's two front pockets here. In my left pocket here, I've got the Spyderco Ambitious. Small little knife. It's got its own little pocket. On this side, I've got the Four Sevens. Quirk Mini AA with this lanyard so it's easy access. Um, this is one of the other lights that I tend to carry in cargo pants, you know, that has bigger pockets because it's a little bit bigger and I can pull it out. But this is a twist top to different settings, so it's got a bigger, bigger output too in this little guy than the other one. Um, in this pocket right here, I've got my little wallet and some pepper spray always good with the pepper spray and in this back pocket if you can see can you see it um, is Keelan's new little guy it is the SIG P238 um, he's just letting me test it out to see if I like it and I, I really do he got some custom grips on it VZ grips in this pretty hyena color um, I really like them they're really grippy and it works well in this little purse I don't feel it compared to carrying my Ruger in my other purse so, and then on the back side of this purse, there's a little pouch right here. Um, I am able to carry my Motorola Droid 2 in it. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Um, if you have any questions about what I've carried over, um, just let Keelan know and I'll be happy to answer them. All right, thanks, guys.